Now the camera is going, and I'll say it again. Okay, sorry. Thought I had it. Is it? Where's the problem? Did you just take a picture of me? It's recording now. I might have taken a picture of you. I didn't mean to, but... Okay, let's try that again. The best time to write is... Ah. The best place to write is... Yeah. The best person to write is... You. Thank you very much. I am Ezra Johnson, director of Writing Nights. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have an amazing lineup of performers for you this evening. Yes, give them all the clap that you can give them. Um, <laughs> Hashtag STD works. Um, anyway, um, I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to tell you that we have a bunch of flyers over here on the bar that have all our social media, our sword fight uh, showcase, and feature schedule. One of one of our sword fighters will be performing tonight. I will introduce them when they come up. And then we are also doing workshops in Canton on the second Tuesday and fourth Thursday. So please feel free to join us there. Grab a... Uh, Grab a drink from our lovely bartender, and grab a flyer, and don't bring a drive. All right, um, our first performer. I do not know much about them other than they seem pretty awesome in the uh, five minutes that I've talked to them. So, it's a good start. That's about as good as bar you're going to get. Please welcome Luna Ananaki. How you guys, how's everyone doing? Awesome. Well. Amazing. So I have a few poems set up for, for tonight, and I guess here we go. This one is called Bricks. Within the wall, I am those bricks that you used. I am cemented and forever in your torment and mind. Thank you. Broken branches. Did you feel the tree fall? The ones that where we carved our initials in? Did you feel the roots being ripped up from the ground? I walked every day, placing flowers just to feel your touch. Feel the warmth of your hands on the raw bark. Did you feel the branches crash against the earth bedding? The ones that we climbed just to reach the very top. Did you feel the wind carry the leaves that gently fell as they caressed the grassy blanket? Did you feel how much I missed you ever since the day you left? I picked up the mess that Mother Earth, Mother Earth left behind of our love. I raked up those leaves. I gathered those branches. And I hugged that tree one last time just to feel you against me. Refractive roses. I want to be a rose in a glass garden. Please don't pick my wilted petals. Please don't trim my thorns. I'm a delicate flower sitting in a glass garden. I want to be a rose in a glass garden where I can love my imperfections. Love the petals that fall over time, and love my prickly thorns. Handle me with care, love me tenderly, with patience. I'm merely a, ref a reflection in how you tend to this garden. Shower me with love, weed out the bad seeds. I want to be a rose in a glass garden. Please don't change this fl flower's colors. Don't pluck my wilted flower, my petals. Don't pluck my wilted petals. Don't trim my thorns. I'm still a delicate flower sitting in this glass garden. <laughs> J. 
dreaming with you. Across the universe, subconsciously through our dreams is where we will travel to see each other again. Through the doors of perception is where my soul was opened, touching before our hands could even meet, eye to eye, fingertips to fingertips, sealing our fate with an endless kiss vibrationally pulling you in. Tell me this will last forever. I don't want to miss this. I don't want this just to become a memory. <laughs> Steps forward. I grew up kind of backwards, sort of like Benjamin Button. I grew up with a briefcase full of lies. They'd spill out from time to time, trying to collect myself in order to get back home. I grew up kind of backwards, kind of like I was the mom and you were the child. I grew up without a clue of what would come after. I was beat down without any, without any cause. I grew up kind of backwards, Suiting myself just to face up with the trauma of yesterday. Blank face for today. I grew up not knowing who I was. I grew up kind of backwards. <laughs> raising myself on survival. Just to make it through the night. Not wanting to face the day. You ever look at yourself in the mirror not knowing who is looking back at you? Different eyes. Different lives different voices. Chaos and order. Thank you. I ride on mania. I thrive on impulse. I drive myself through insanity just to feel a rapid pulse. Anything to keep the thrill alive, just to not feel dead inside. I ride on mania and I thrive on impulse. I ignore the warning signs. I don't read the labels. All the cards are right there on the table. Show me your poker face and I'll show you mine. Tell me you love me, even if you're lying. I ride on mania and I thrive off impulse. I drive myself through insanity just to feel a rapid pulse. I'm addicted to the highs, infatuated with the lows. Hold my hand, don't get too close. Pain brings beauty, but there's no beauty to the pain. Everybody wants something for their selfish gain. I ride on mania and I thrive on impulse. I drive myself through insanity just to feel a rapid pulse. Anything to keep the thrill alive, just to not feel dead inside. I ride on Mooney and I thrive off an impulse. Thank you. This one's called PTSD. Your voice echoes through my head to a tune I've never heard. I see your shadows behind my every move. I feel your touch even when I'm, when I'm alone. And I just wanted to leave here. I came out here half a person, now I'm leaving here whole. Thank you. The best time to write is... The best place to write is, the best person to write is, yeah. and I forgot to say something at the beginning, uh, Writing Nights does not condone the use of the Confederate flag in any promotional materials. We do not judge people who do, just, that's not something we, we're digging. Just get that out there. Okay, that's all. Alright, um, our next performers um, are a very gracious couple of poets that I've met recently online, and I'm looking forward to seeing them live. Uh, hope you all are out there. Please welcome 
Super Team. Listen with all your senses. Come back to your senses. I have a vision. Listen. It is so sad I am different. We're amazingly naturally gifted. No UFO just lifted into the fourth dimension. Measurements of volume constructed the third dimension. Misapprehension of the second dimension. Pausing all comprehension doing a reinvention. Intervention. This is an extension. Mental warfare. Mental warfare, stretch and tension, no prevention, equivalent to a child without supervision. Running, chasing geese, not geese are on your system. Goosebumps never had a victim. Cold to the core, got stagnant from a dingy door. Levitating, alleviating, stimulating, participating while demonstrating and communicating. New laws regulating. Humans never fully engaging and participating. And this is what is circulating. Stating you are waiting or relating. Indicating, creating, but for operating. A mind so different. A mind so unique. A mind so different. A mind so unique. A commonly invented. Obsolete techniques, calculating time, step, double speed. Hard to critique. Hard to speak. Calculations, fine print. The speed. Pen image of paper like a virus. Witness through your own worn out iris. Although my words get sight to the blind, take each letter how you take it in your mind. Humankind design and mankind. Better when I am an alien form, watch the design. Disagree, and I hate it. I am alien I play, and you have been alienated. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stormy brother, we realize we complete each other's paradoxical puzzle as, as it, it connects, connects together. together. Whether you know it or not, that day in St. Martin's Hall, I walked past you and everything stopped. Our eyes met and the world oh, shifted. Yeah. And for that yeah. moment, that little yeah. moment, no, no one, one else, else existed. existed. See? Yes, I know. Spirits were lifted. You are the medicine my doctor prescripted. Now over all these years we have missed, <coughs> I've been sick. Now we overdose with our presence. That and peace that, that fits. fits. You fit. I fit. fit. We, we fit. fit. We, we are, are the church of Fast forward a year later. Obstacles become greater. But they are just pieces to the puzzle that we will use for later. My UFO crashed and landed upon a crater. Anxiously popping out a purple heart. Lucky, Lucky baby seven. seven. Making our way to Earth from the heavens. heavens. 
in all ways. Choose to be happy in spite of life's challenges. Life changes every day. And that'll be your puzzle. Everybody, how are you doing tonight? Yes. No, no, Say, no. how are you doing tonight? Okay, I like that. Okay, so we are Super City Poetry. I yes. am the unicorn, because you ain't going to be another one. I'm the no, only no, one. No. The, okay? The unicorn. No. And this is? Alien I Player. Mr. Alien I Player .com, Poet, musician. And you can follow us at Super Team Poetry on all social media. And I am the underscore uniform jazz. Also, I have a photography page, guys. Uh -oh. I'm that. It's Lace Dot Pearls Photography. What is it again? Lace Dot Pearls Photography. One more time. <laughs> Lace Dot Pearls Photography. Yes, and that's on Instagram. You can follow me at Alien Our Plan and our group page at Super Team Poetry on all media. So, that little poem that was called Let Me a Puzzle, um, it basically is from, we went to high school together, um, and you know how you kind of see people that you like, but you're too scared to talk to them, you like, oh, uh, something about that person, you know, so that's how it was. I never really talked to him, I was scared to talk to him, and then fast forward 11 years later, <laughs> And now we are a couple, we are raising children, and we just, you know, yes. fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we want to thank you guys for letting us come, or asking us to come, not letting, asking us to come. I also want to shout out my Clevelanders. Hey, I see you hey. hey. We got Tiff, Kiera, Danielle, Adam. Lady Poet, Keisha Nicole Foster, Ebony Amaya, what's up? Okay. Thank you, appreciate you all. All right, baby, what's, what's the next one? Uh, I, I, I don't know. What you mean, y'all? I mean, we came out here to do a set. What you. I, I, don't, I don't know. Shit, so, I mean, we're gonna wing it. What we gonna do? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. Well, you want to go give me a drink or something? But if I get up the stage, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, so I guess we winging it, right? I guess we are. So, uh, just a fast forward earlier today, you know, what made you choose that outfit? Really, like I couldn't decide. I mean, I don't know. What, what, what you mean you don't know? Like, cause the pants fit good, but right. I couldn't find a shirt, so I don't know. I just threw it together. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What made you wear your outfit? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? No. He don't know shit, huh? So we don't know. What about y'all? Should we jump into this next piece? I don't know. <laughs> Should we jump into this next piece? Yeah! Alright, they ready. They ready. All right. Okay. Chemistry. Chemistry? Chemistry. You want to talk about it? Yes. Hmm. Let me see. <clears throat> you said love at first sight, right? Right. Yeah, love. That's right. But what about the fireworks? What about it? Let me draw you a picture so you can see how our fireworks red. Your favorite color. <laughs> yeah. Like strontium carbonate. Mm. Shines bright from the inside. Mm. 11 years too late. What? Nope. 11 years right on time. Uh -huh. Fine as one. That means we are one and fine. Uh -huh. And every moment spent with you was breathtaking. <laughs> Divine. <sighs> Love so strong, your hand I hold. Yes. I'm with you along to the ride like orange. I mean calcium chloride. Okay, okay. Then we mix sodium nitrate. Then barium and copper chloride. Yellow, green, and blue. Huh. What a pretty picture. 
Just watch our colors collide. Okay. Like that day everyone celebrates. What's that? <laughs> the 4th of July. Oh, okay. From a liquid to a solid. Mm. Just follow my logic. I was liquid once. I mean, I should have been. All those tears I used like a lifeline, time spent. That's deep. Mixing those tears with my temper. Getting hot and heated. Those tears evaporated to gas because the liquid heated. Mm. Now to the solid part. My counterpart. <laughs> you calm me. Kind of like freezing time. From that gas little hot head to be your ice cube, I am yours and you are mine. Astronomically, that's why. These poems are a chemistry. And I'm a chemist with these lines. <laughs> Whoa. You see, love blowing up stuff. How fun. Sweet, juicy, violet as a plum. Colorful pictures with one crayon is hung. Eggs are planted. Great jelly spread it. Mmm, yeah. Calming as lavender. This is all purple. I am Saint Even, just no Urkel. <laughs> Joking in this purple and red lab, just not a magician. Chemistry, oh chemistry. Let's name this chemical composition. Linolic acid mixed with other bacteria extraction The chemical compound serendipity forms our attraction Eucalyptal liquidate into eucalyptus Acidic either and minor temperanoid that is Validating the parameters like a scientific pop quiz Jeez whiz, why am I holding test tube same color as piss? Ah, piss <laughs> From test tubes <laughs> From cold pressing to distillation. No, spilling the aroma of a warm sensation. Separating components creates evaporation. Sweating like Shaq at the free throw line. Or let's just say condensation. Oh, Neil at the line, throw out things that are free. Like a spirit set free from impurities. This warm mint smell makes my heart boil. Electrolytes unite to form lavender essential oils. Astronomically entwined. These poems are a chemistry, and I'm a chemist with these lines. That's chemistry. Don't hype me now. Don't hype me now. Don't What is life? 42. <laughs> he said 42. But it, you know, it's a, it's a real question. Like, what's life? Like, can we explain it? Is it a simple definition, complex definition, multiple <laughs> definition? Complex? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Dear life, I was just writing to ask you, what is life? Is it a feeling, a reason, or a lesson? Because I'm tired of striking out. People say life is like a box of chocolates, but in reality, it's really like a car to me. It's that feeling of driving in the summer with the windows open, blasting anything with bass, loud enough to make those side mirrors quake. It's that feeling you get when your gas tank hits E and your bank account is empty, and you barely have enough for a gallon of gas digging through the center console for dimes and pennies saying, let me get 475 on pump three. Life is like that backseat. Some of y'all know that backseat. It's a metaphor for the way we procrastinate, putting things off until tomorrow, but today is tomorrow, but we're still, but we're still saying tomorrow life it's like that back seat. It's a cemetery for all those childhood dreams. The only place in the world where you can go run, cry, and scream. So again, what actually is life? Life is like a box of chocolates. Not dark or milk, but white chocolates. Melting, leaving a trail of white privilege. White chocolate ain't even good, yet they still making it. <laughs> life is white chocolate, 
Life is white privilege, covered in white chocolate with a hint of orange zest. Suppressing the hate you hold for those whose skin is melanated. Only one in 45 to be president, so you can use his orange zest to fuel the flavor of your hatred. <laughs> Stupid ass worried about building a wall to some immigrants, yet we have homeless fees into death and parents beating kids. So again, what is life? Is it some type of spiritual realm that once we figure it out, we level up and transcend? Shit. If life is a box of chocolates, then I'm glad I chose to become vegan. Because I'm outside of the box and I ain't fucking with it. My life is like poetry. No. My life is poetry. My life is whatever I want it to be. I'm redirecting, recreating, reproducing my life story through ballpoint pens that write 27 years of question, confusion, and pain on paper to make poetry. My life is my poetry. If you listen close, you'll get to know me. My life is my poetry. Been through more than the naked eyes never hoped to see. My life is my poetry. Didn't have the guts to cut, so for me, my pins bleed. My life is my poetry. Weird, awkward, dysfunctional as fuck all over the place, yet it makes sense to me. My life is my poetry. So I've uh, actually written uh, a couple years about life. So what is life? Part two, alien form. Mm -hmm. In my book, Dark Ages and Grave by Stephen D. Jackson, you can find it at sdjbooks.com. That's sdjbooks.com. What is life? Who in the world knows the meaning of living? The world is much greater than receiving and giving. When you are young, you learn how to function in life. But at what age do you start to live your life? As our bodies can self-heal, maintaining a healthy health line, does not compare what you are battling in the mind. About living, sometimes you think twice and actually focus on what is life. Being in contact with other human interactions, well, human interactions also include being in contact with yourself. Is life finding true love to fulfill fantasies and destinies? Or is it simply being happy, living every moment like your last, Mr. and Mrs. Destiny? Life is a box of chocolates, as they say, but I would disagree any day. Life is like a bird. The closer you get to it, it flies away from you. Times it is hard to hold on to that double bubble of trouble that floats away from you. We live in this unbroken dream until we are buried in a casket to see this dream is not what it seems. Oh, what is life? What is living? Most of us are alive but are not living. Life is a paradoxical puzzle we spend our lifetime trying to solve. Dealing with problems some God cannot even solve. Life is causing a fat, reproducing, meaning sex, and their thighs, and their fat, as in spec or perspective. How you view the world? Trying to live our dream we had since a boy or girl. Life is survival. Meaning much more than a rival, as everything are now labels and titles. Live until you are drowning in sickness or cancer. Life is ultimately a game of questions and answers. The window to your soul only witness what is happening. Life is what about what is happening. Understanding what everything means. Life is about creating memories you once had as dreams. Chance, favors, and prepared being. Life is much more than what we are seeing. Life is how you take it. Simply, 
Life is what you make it. So please, answer the question, what is life? Super Team Poetry. Super Team! <laughs> I am the Unicorn. And I'm Alien, our player. And you can follow us, Super Team Poetry, all social media. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. So, guess what I'm going to say next? <laughs> the best time to write is yeah. the best place to write is yeah. the best person to write is yeah. thank you very much I am still Ezreal Johnson that was Super Team Poetry give them another round of applause <laughs> Regent and I were going up, coming up to Kent to meet with Ariana, and most of you know Ariana, and I was like, well, so I'm not drinking sugar right now, so I, I would like a Zevia, like an orange Zevia, and this next performer got me one of the, uh, the tall person cans of Zevia, and it was, it was so lovely, and no. ever since then I've been in love with them pl platonically. It doesn't have to be. Well, I mean... I thought you were gay. <laughs> it's like, I'm just kidding. Okay. Like, I'm good with merging. <laughs> we have a room. We have a room and an audience. Please welcome Finn Trace. night for me. <laughs> I am a little person. Um, I have to preface this for all of you who don't know me so that you don't come running out of this building angry. Um, I am a veteran, so I write a lot of veteran poetry. So just, <laughs> I have to preface that because some guy thought that I was just standing up here spouting stuff about veterans not being in the military. So this is a while ago, so I'm just going to preface that. Um, I wrote a couple new stuff and then I have some other stuff that I've sort of integrated.